So trust us, we're not fishing for the dough to fund our vision. The provisions we envision have long been preordained. Just as we first saw it, you reached into your wallet and you gave. Your cash well must manifest the grandest end result. Legally, we have to say that this is not a cult. Totally not a cult. And soon the whole wide world will be delighted. To Yeah! Da, 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 Hello! Hi! Hello, Still dancing to that. It's so catchy. It's yeah. a catchy little tune. Um, yeah. How is everyone? How's your so Thursday? Good. I'm ready to be enlightened. Great. Oh, okay. Is anyone ready yes. to see Madam Web? <laughs> what? No. It's the film <laughs> debate, so we have to talk about. I'm enjoying Webb. watching Dakota Johnson talking about Madam Web in it's, the most it's, it's the, obtuse it's, of ways. It's the only reason to do these things, you know, is to 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 get Dakota Johnson on a press tour. That's what <laughs> that's what we're here. This is how for. Dakota Johnson promotes a movie? No, I love limes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does. Thank you. Thank you. And you know, if Dakota Johnson was here right now, she would be doing an excellent job promoting what we're all here for. Hello, everyone. We've got the Enlightenment World Tour Kickstarter in the process of being funded. Forty-one percent funded. We got some places to go. I think we're almost officially halfway through the campaign, which mm -hmm. is scary and exciting. Like the way everyone's turned out so far. You know, one thousand two hundred forty-four backers has been absolutely incredible. Um, but here we are, we got to keep going. And so part of that is doing these live streams every Thursday and Sunday. And we are so happy today to be joined by, uh, members of the cast of the Solvit Squad, which is going to Edinburgh Fringe, uh, Ashley Clements. Applause, applause, Hi. applause. And, so loud, oh, it's so loud. And, um, members of Spy, uh, Another Day. Spy Another Day? Spy Another Day, which is yeah. a Spies of Forever concert screening in Los Angeles, uh, starring Kurt Mega and Mary Kate Wiles. Hello. Woo! Applause, applause. And, and Brought to you by Celsius. Perfect. That's <laughs> oh, what we need. Okay. We need Celsius. Celsius money. Celsius um, just threw a couple hundred bucks in there. Thank you, Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Celsius. They, maybe they, they, maybe they... a thousand. Thanks. Yeah. We, we, Celsius, we could use a hundred and eighteen thousand um, <laughs> dollars. I think we can get uh, that today. That's, yeah. I think that'll be over the course of this debate. Um, yeah. What is our goal today? A few people had asked real quick, uh, Gabe, where's Gabe? Gabe has had a family little thing come up because, um, you know, Gabe's a, Gabe's a family man. Um, and we had to honor that. But Gabe will be on on a future, uh, in, in, in future Solve Squad stream. But it gives us the opportunity. It, it now allows us to pop in. And Gabe throws a opinion. child over friendship? That's yeah, okay. he needs to be ten lightened. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, These, your six people, people, These six people prioritize their art over a their child. Parents, <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, over our children. Yeah, don't yeah. mind that we don't have children. <laughs> if if I have any children, please raise your hands. <laughs> yeah. Listen, no. you, you, what we've seen from Gwen in the Solvent Squad about her relationship to her children, I think we know exactly where we where you stand, Ashley. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't write that you guys did, so but you've accepted embodying it for years. Uh, I, have, I love it. I Wait, love the it. actors don't improvise the no, lines. I like to think that oh Agent no, Mega every line that gets a laugh has... with me. <laughs> I like to think Agent Mega definitely has three or four kids he doesn't know about. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, a hundred percent, absolutely, <laughs> no. definitely. <laughs> On the last Definitely. debate, we found out that Wenger Borscht it was like a swinger. So, you know, yeah. we're really on discovering the last, things. On the last debate we were talking about, it was like, I think the question was like, what Star Kid character, or not Star, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what Tin Can character would be, would most likely join a cult? 
And um, and we we narrowed it down to Mrs. Mega because she's lonely. Oh, hundred percent. Because she's like you know she's oh. very she's manipulatable. She like she she probably like is involved with a ton of like uh you know like tupperware kind of mlm oh, things she's fully down the rodan and fields rabbit hole for yes sure. <laughs> yes and then and then i think vanger borscht was another one just because uh he's a lonely man <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's a lonely man he has no friends and then i think did someone say keith because i think keith was also like obviously <laughs> obviously i think someone said not keith they're like keith seems like he would be susceptible mm. but I, I don't know I mean, I could see Keith being a cult leader, but we digress. <laughs> um, I think we hundred percent be in a cult, but not a yeah. cult like not a cult like this, like a cult where he has absolutely no idea that it's a cult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and I, I don't think he'd be adversely affected by it either. I feel like it would no. just glance off him. He'd That's be like, cool. "Oh, that was a cult." Brian tried huh. to Craig's would be in a cult, and it's like a cult killed his dog. It was a good argument. So we're not going to fight about that. <laughs> we're not so we're here a bad argument. to raise money for our 10 year uh, uh, anniversary season. Um, and I think today we should try to get to $90,000, but we need your help to get to $90,000. If you look on our gram, we've had these little milestone unlock um, things. Uh, milestone unlocks. I mean, that is the noun. There are milestone unlocks. <laughs> and uh, at eighty-five thousand, we're gonna <laughs> unlock someone yes. from uh, another member of the Spy Another Day cast. And at ninety thousand, um, we are going to. What are we gonna do at ninety thousand? I'm actually blanking. Announce a guest for the Grape Whoa. Debate. The Grape Debate. The Grape Debate. <laughs> the Grape Debate. Grape Debate, which will debate be... the grapes of breath. Yes, that'll be a specific debate we do in the Great Debate where we where we talk about green, purple grapes. Um, do raisins count? That's do, part of the debate. Raisin part of the debate. I don't sure. know. Champagne um, But right yes. before we went live, we just announced a new member of the Spy Another Day cast, uh, which is uh, Tom Lank. Tom Lank of stage and screen and comedy, and uh, I hope many of you know him because wait, he's what a, for real? Yeah, uh huh. Talented fella. Tom is going to be joining the Spy Another Day concert. And I don't even know if we said this online, but Tom is going to be playing Vanger Borstin in That's the show, which is pretty appropriate. <laughs> it's a very good, it's like, this is very good. This is. That's like, very good. It's very good. He, he, he was very excited. Um, he's like, I've, you know, he was like, do you have this wig still? And I was like, we don't, but it is just a bob wig turned backwards I love the wig. <laughs> but he was like oh i i got something like that so oh um, fun yeah it's gonna be very very fun he's gonna yeah. be uh a lovely addition oh and, and then we did mariah and then and then and then and then that's uh, some other things and then and then we got i think it's coming it's up great. I, mariah, I don't know what's um, going on it's not out, supposed to be showing you this at 80,000, we unlocked a Choose Our Destiny rewatch live stream. And that mm. has, um, Maitland, that has not been uh, scheduled yet, but it will be scheduled. Uh, it will be scheduled. Soon. Yes, it will be scheduled. will be something probably in the next week or so. You know, we got, we got I a lot saw of you guys people... listening about that. And I definitely thought it was Call of Duty. And I was like, what is the connection? <laughs> like, oh, this right. the, thing. the stakes. Thinks everyone thinks we did an improv show for project alpha but no we just played call of duty for <laughs> hours and hours and hours um honestly which is fr which is something people would get paid to do so uh not far off. i would pay money to watch lauren play call of duty honestly. oh my god okay you, that would I be would like that too yeah. that would be so miserable for her <laughs> <laughs> she Honestly, what you want to watch her play is Super Mario Brothers, because when she plays that, it's just her going, ah, you little fucker. Ah, mm, and like, going, Get, ah, and like, that's, but, but Call of Duty, I think she'll just be like, what am I, what am I even doing? What am I doing here? When she watches me play some games, like I'll be, I'm playing Spider-Man 2 now and I'm like swinging around. I'm like, look at this. And she's just like, wow. And I go, okay, this is not amazing to you. This is amazing. Um, but yeah, there he is. 
Hey. Hey. How fun. I'm yes, sorry. I totally missed that. It was just, I love seeing Mary Kate find out minutes ago. I saw minutes you ago. Posted, so I don't feel quite so bad. And that's so exciting. Yeah. It's very fun. He's such it's, a delight. Yeah. He's yeah. such a, he's such a delight and a hilarious man. And um, yeah, as like we similarly did with at the 54 Below show, trying to like break it up and, and not have everyone be double cast in a million things. We're like, Sir, uh, Vang, Vanger Borshit is such a great role to be like, who is a funny person that can come in and just like make this song their own? And Tom is absolutely uh, gonna nail this. It's wonderful. Um, so yeah. Apparently, I never watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, he was, but yes, apparently Andrew. Buffy. Yeah, he's a, he's a hell of a guy. And Tom was, um, Tom was in Lottie Platt, she took a hatchet, which yeah. was a show that Lauren was in and, uh, at the Fringe Festival two years ago. He's a wonderful man. So we're very, very excited to have him on board. He's also in Headless. Asleep he's also in Headless. Oh, ho, ho. He's, he's uh, old Jonathan style? Old Style. Jonathan Old Style. John's mm -hmm. favorite character he's ever written. <laughs> he was great. He's very He funny. had that little bucket hat. Yeah. He and he like, did not complain. He was out in that in 40 degree uh, weather, and he was just such a sweetie about it. It's he's great. here to have fun. I mean, when we told him we were we were uh you know we were just like here's what's here's what's going on here are the details and he was just like you guys are paying people he's like don't you know we do this for free and it's like <laughs> no, and we pay people this is what we, we try, try. To, this is what we're doing trying to do so um yeah it was really nice it's really exciting it'll be very fun to have him on board we just passed 83 which is wonderful mm. um and we are only you know we are under 2k from our another so we'll check one of those off. Another we Spy got, Another Day LA cast member on We have two more Spy Another Day cast members, and we got one locked and loaded. And I'll put it in the private chat so everyone can see. Yeah, so and then at 90K, react. we'll unlock another debate cast member for the great debate, which is why we're here today, to kind of promo that with our friends. And then at 100K, we're going to remake The Phone Thief, which was our first ever sketch. Because while we're like looking ahead to this upcoming season, we're also like looking back and just... Celebrating the fact that we've been doing this for a decade, which is nuts. It's yeah. absolutely nuts. And I feel it in my bones. Um, but before we get to the first great debate, um, uh, everyone in the chat, should we just cycle through the projects really fast just to let everyone know um, what else is happening this year, why we're raising the money? And also, just so you know, um, during this live stream, if you uh, pledge for the first time or you up your pledge by $10, uh, we'll give you a shout out live on the stream. We will praise your name, and fireworks will <laughs> fireworks will shoot Joey. behind me, and balloons or is this confetti? That's no, confetti, and then like this, you know, little hearts will come out of my mouth. All sorts. Whoa, here we go. Um. So, anyways, yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. So real quick, we got Spy Another Day, which is a Spies of Forever concert screening happening in Los Angeles this spring. We're actually going to be announcing the date very soon. Um, and that features, as you can see, Mary-Kate, Kurt, Tessa, Joe Walker, Lauren, myself, Joey from the original cast. Plus, we're going to have special guests like Mariah, Tom Lank, more coming in to join us. Um that's Spy Another Day. We love Spies Are Forever. We it's it's actually the eight year anniversary of Spies Are Forever. So, um, yeah. Wow. Wait that's now. Crazy. Right now. Yeah, because it was in um. It was in February. February. Yeah. Let me look it up. It's not like the day. It's not like the we day. No, we opened in March. It was yeah, like yeah, March yeah. and the end of April. Or yeah, maybe in, in April. rehearsals. We opened ah. March 11th. Yeah, because on Lauren's birthday we were in dress rehearsals. That's me and Sean's anniversary. Wow. 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 You did that for spies? Yeah. <laughs> and John was a prince. He was. was. A prince. John was a prince. John was a prince. Yeah, That's and that right. was when you knew. Yeah, John you, is you a sure. prince. You say. weren't sure unless that you wanted to marry him until he came up on stage and he was yeah. at Prince and you went. That's when you knew. Is, yeah. yeah. That's it. He was like, all right. You got it. This <laughs> was backstage boy. saying, guys, I'm not sure. And then and then it, it was all good. <laughs> um, then uh, Solvent Squad is hopefully going to the Fringe for a full month run with the original cast Ooh. there, um, which okay. would be incredible. We've been trying to get to the Fringe for a really long time. And people have been like, can you get to the UK? Can you get closer so I can come see you live? And we're trying, people. We are trying. 
Um, and then what else? Um, Joey, mm-hmm. Lauren, and myself are uh, creating are going to be in a new musical called Gross Profits, directed by Corey, with music by Allie and Angela, who wrote that banger of an opening number. And uh, and Angela, who wrote songs and was uh, was one of the people behind Shitty Broadway. That's and right. Allie, who went to Michigan with us and is Turkey Boy. Uh, you know Allie. You love Allie. You famously you so love Allie. Me. Right? Right down. Um, and this show is going to be in LA. And it's also going to be in Australia in early 2025. But only if we hit our goal. Um, what else? Next up. It's like too many to remember. Okay, um, let's th- talk about spy another day in london which is going to be similar to the la concert it's going to be a little scaled down i think there's going to be a lot more audience participation it's basically another concert screening of spies are forever in london where owen carver is from so that's super exciting because um we got to imagine that there's a bunch of spies fans over in uh in london as well oh speaking of which just real quick um so did you guys see um the kermit the frog doing kermit the frog? yes Kermit, Kermit Muffrog. Kermit Muffrog. Insane. What? Absolutely insane. <laughs> Kermit <laughs> Muffrog. Kermit Muffrog. There's somebody who has an account uh, where they do a little puppet of Kermit, and they've covered a bunch of songs from a bunch of projects we've all been in, and then they did a Spy Again version. But it's just Kermit singing Spy Again, going, Spy Again. And he's got a little beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole song straight through, it's which Kurt, as you know. Five minutes, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like get back here. He also has like a shitty little beard too. Yeah, it's really good. yeah, it's really cute. yeah. Um, they've done all kinds. He's done all kinds of uh, different numbers from different shows. It's great. It is great. Um, he's on uh, TikTok. Just, I think. On TikTok, TikTok, yeah. TikTok. Just to wrap this up, um, we have Intelligent Life, which is a new pilot reading. Um, it's a queer sci-fi comedy that we've been working on for a really long time. We're going to do... Ex-boyfriends separated by someone going to uh, colonize another planet, and the other one stows aboard. It's a good fun. It's good fun. It's a good fun. Um, then we got The Great Debate, which is a live game show featuring TCB and our friends, which is uh, what we're here today to do, which is fight with our friends about things that are not really that important. So we'll be getting to that shortly. Um, did I leave anything else out? This could be on Broadway. On this could be on below. Oh my God. Yeah. This could be on Broadway. Uh, he's going to Broadway, almost. 54 Blur. Um, so it's a whole smattering of projects for our 10 year anniversary readings, concerts, full runs of shows. Um, and you know, this is, it's, uh, exciting for us and it sounds like it's exciting for you. And thank you so much for your enthusiasm. And we now love, seeing, we love seeing everyone get so stoked to come and see the shows and, and making plans. But remember, you know, we can't get to a lot of these places without meeting this goal. That is like essential. It, it they, th- those won't happen. So, um, you know, and hopefully there's enough lead time for a lot of these ones, especially like Australia and even London, Edinburgh. It's like you know we're we're six months away, some even longer than that. Give you enough time to plan, but it is imperative first that we hit the goal because if we don't, we won't be going there. I, um, I have I have a here's here's a way to think about it. I have a friend last year who produced an off Broadway show. It mm. cost them seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to do one show in New York. Horrible. You're yeah. talking about seven shows, seven things for a third of that. That's a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So making theaters expensive, y'all. It is oh. very, very and very traveling's expensive. expensive. It's like you know, expensive. it's like we all we can't fly on the Max eight nines. We can't do it. So we're going to yeah. have to really specifically make sure we're on a different type of plane so the door doesn't fall off. Even right. though Lauren can fit in a suitcase, um, there's still a bunch of other pay for a seat. We have, have to, to pay fall. for a seat for Lauren. Yeah. Even though, yeah, you unzip, you expand that suitcase, you could throw her under. She could go under, into the, you know, and she could be under there. You give her, honestly, she'd probably get a better sleep down there than she would on a regular flight. And Pop she, her into the be, overhead bin, maybe. And there would be no COVID risk. You know, <laughs> so I think she would, honestly, she might be open to it. I, um, I was flying with Lauren once and she was in the row behind me and I turned around and she was, 180 just facing the entire opposite side of the seat just to like with crisscross legs and i thought it was so funny i couldn't believe it i was like how is this possible she's quite small and can like 
you know, fit small in and pretzel like. <laughs> Very pretzel like. Just um, resting her head on the like the seat and, to sleep. And for whatever you think, if, if you think she's comfortable, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone that, ever been not. comfortable on a plane? Um, first class one. people are. Yeah, first only class one. people. Are. Well, I'm just saying the fact that you guys are gonna do se like 200k for seven projects, man. That's that is a bargain. So thank you, thank you. Happen. It's it's a it's a it's it's an ambitious. It's ambitious. Uh, uh, plan, and we hope to do it. But famously, this is not our job. This is our lifestyle. Oh, we're almost close. <laughs> we're almost eighty-five again. Yeah, it's it's, it's been going up. It's very exciting. Oh, yeah. yeah, very fun. Um, I, I, that, that skip the, that skip the um, Would you mind if I just said some nice things to you? Because like I've been meaning to email them, but I forgot. Oh my god! Sure. Um. <laughs> Sure, thanks. Well, I just ever since the Kickstarter launched, I wanted to just say, like, wow, you guys did such an incredible job, like, planning this whole thing. And the buildup was, like, so fun to watch. But also, like, oh, my God, that Kickstarter video was, like, so, like, I'm laughing out loud and, like, like you know, wanting to, like, dance and sing along, um, which is just nuts for something that's, like, you know, typically kind of boring. Um and Can we uh, spotlight Ashley, please, Corey. <laughs> so I just no, wanted no, no, to no, say, Brian. <laughs> I just wanted to say because I've been meaning to like say to my friends, "Oh my God, such a good job." Um, and secondarily, I would also like to say, um, really good job with the cult. Um, you know, because I think a lot of people feel like I would never join a cult. I would never be bamboozled. And fooled and tricked into joining a cult because we like to believe we're smart. But you've bypassed all of that because you're not trying to trick anybody. You're just being very clear. And that is maybe the kind of cult we could all believe in. A cult that says, hey, I'm not gonna trick you. This isn't now. a multi-level marketing scheme. You know, where we're we're just here to say, this is a cult. Do you want to play? Yeah. The branding yeah. is a yeah. pure Scientology can take lessons thing. from you guys. Like, thank you. We yeah. got to get with the plan. Just be yeah. honest about what it is. Yeah. Thank you. And just like, you know, you, you I don't you, need to be spotlit. Anymore. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> pull her back down. Okay. And you know, it's just that simple thing where it's like, if you, if you, if you, if you give money, there, there are, there are fun rewards as a result. You know, it's like, cult. Like you go to heaven. any cult, you have to pay for enlightenment. <laughs> But you're yeah, upfront about be, it. Yeah, they should just be more upfront about it. Anywho, it's um, always been our business very, very model. Sweet. Yes, it's very. Thank sweet. you, Ashley, and 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 we're excited to work with you and all of you again this year. Um, in many ways, that will kind of be a part of this celebration. You know, of like all these things that we've done since 2014. It's very very exciting, and um, yeah, you know. My 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 nervous system is an absolute wreck, but I love being here with all of you right now doing this. I'll tell you, you know, right before this, I was in a I was in a dark place, but here we are about to do some great debate stuff, and it's gonna be real fun. Um, so give but, money to help Joey's nervous system. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know, help, help the nervous system. Um, you heard prebiotics are good for the gut. You know what's better? Money. Money. <laughs> funding. <laughs> funding. <laughs> Probiotics. <Money. safety. laughs> <laughs> um, okay, no. let's get debating. Let's do this first. Uh, oh let's do this first round. Okay. Um, so first up in the great debate rounds we have, um, we have a debate centering around what is because all the, the theme of this of this uh, streams, you know, debates are film because we're all film people. You know, we film our shows. We put our shows on YouTube to be film like. They're all on Letterbox for some reason. But um, ours are, yeah, 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 it's wild. Um, but you know, they're all there. Um, don't go, don't go there. It's fine. <laughs> you know, it's like it's fine. It's a fine place. Um, but uh, but we all love film. We all have great opinions about film. So let's find out um, who has the best opinions on film. First up, figuring out and getting to the bottom of what is the worst threequel that is a third movie in a trilogy will be Mary-Kate Wiles, Kurt Mega, and Corey Lubowicz. Let's see what you have to say. Um, Mary-Kate uh. is behind us and, <laughs> and, and, and will soon be spotlit up front. Mary-Kate, 
You have one yes. minute on the clock. I take one first. Starting now. I don't want to be first. You are. That is, you, you are. You I are. hate I this. I hate this. You have 53 seconds left. Okay. <laughs> Here's the deal. The worst one, I think we can all agree, is Spider-Man 3. Because why? And what? <laughs> but it did give us the dance and the the jowl wobble <laughs> which is pretty important so that's its one saving grace and i don't remember anything else about it but my husband feels strongly about spider-man movies and he thinks it's pretty bad so i feel like that's probably correct mm, interesting. also for if we're going with Spider-Man, sorry, I pick Andrew Garfield and Tom Holland over Tobey Maguire. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My hot take. Deal wow. with it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's, um, you know, looking at uh, a, a line Ed put in the chat, you want forgiveness? Get religion. What a line. <laughs> Is what, that an, movie? <laughs> what an absolute line. That is a line that, that Toby Maguire says to, I think, <laughs> I think Topher Grace is Eddie Brock um, when he like, yeah. I rewatched those movies semi-recently and okay, that's a, that's a strong choice. Um, <laughs> next up, we're going to have Kurt Mega give his opinion on what is the worst third movie in a trilogy. There we go. Kurt Mega, your time starts now. I want to take you back to 1999. Little child me goes to see the premiere of a much anticipated prequel movie of a, of a trilogy that I dreamed. I'd only dreamed that we would get more of. We got, we got episodes four, five, and six. Incredible. We went back in time and got episodes one, two, and three. What could be better than getting a, a prequel trilogy, a sequel trilogy? Fast forward to 20 years later, oh, 20 wow. years later, it's, it's 2019. I, I am kind of confused about the direction, but I'm hoping it can bring it all together. And the opening crawl of Star Wars episode nine says somehow Palpatine returned mm. and it was all downhill from there. Go this off, movie dang. literally made me stop watching Star Wars, Mandalorian, all of it, except for Andor. I don't care about anything Star Wars anymore. I hate this movie. It really is the worst. <laughs> and it just about killed my love for Star Wars. Whoa! Wow. Also, bold not What's dropping the called? title until 45 seconds in. Yeah, what is it? Uh, what, what is, is Star Wars called? episode nine? Nine, somehow nine? Palpatine returned. What is Rise it called? Of uh, Rise of the Skywalker. I'm going to call I, it somehow Palpatine returned. That's what I I'm thought, calling. I thought for a second you were going to say Revenge of the Sith. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, I did too. This, this is like, a, that's actually the best movie out of those three. But, I, but, but uh, that was the other movie I was going to do, and I'm so glad I didn't because oh, I'm so really good. happy to hear your music. Wow. Okay. Well, rounding out this round, Corey Lubowicz, let's find out what you think is the worst prequel. Okay. Um, so thankfully, no one else said the first movie that came to my mind, which was <laughs> Back to the Future 3. Um, no. where you go, you got like the first one is a fucking classic. You've got like Michael J. Fox going back to like the fifties. He's like, maybe going to fuck his mom. Maybe he did. I don't know. Um, is he his own dad? <laughs> Who's to say? Um, but it's like a, it's, it's great. And then in the second one in back to the future two, you've got the great, like, Oh, going to the future and changing the, the future timeline and like future bit. And then in the third movie you go, how can, what, what's the next evolution of that is we're going to go to the back to like the wild west like mm. we're gonna go mm. so far back so much of the fun of the other two movies is like you're seeing characters like in the past or the future that you know from the present and instead we're going to like see their like ancestors in like western times who gives a fuck i'm sorry uh the time machine train was cool though mm. 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 <laughs> okay okay wow so that is. I, I just think that's a pretty interesting point, just for people to consider point. while they're debating. Like the worst in a trilogy might also be a movie that is better. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, right. but, we're gonna... <laughs> but, 
<laughs> you get it. That it only <laughs> needs to be compared to the trilogy, not all movies. Sure, sure, Yes, sure. the worst in a trilogy might be better than the best in another trilogy. That's what well, I'm trying to say. Let's um let's go to five minutes on the clock for open deba debate between uh, you three. And maybe we'll chime in uh, just with some opinions, if, if you care. But uh, let's find out. Let's find out what you have to say. Can I rebut Mary Kay for a second? You betcha. Oh, hell yeah. I want to talk about the cultural impact of Spider-Man 3. Okay. Wow. We, yeah. We've all... How much joy has Tobey Maguire's emo dancing brought us all on Twitter, memes, Yeah, you know? And considering how bad the Venom movies are, was Eddie Brock and Venom in Spider-Man 3 really that bad? That's that's. It, I just want to put that out there. I, I just don't disagree that with you that it brings a lot of joy, that whole dance sequence, but do we think it was very good from a storytelling and character perspective? But here's the thing we're, we're like we can like some we can assess like is it a good movie or not we're talking about like the worst third movie in like a right. franchise right. and both of the franchises that you uh both have talked about have had additional movies back to the future three killed the franchise there's no more that's true yeah yeah yes. like i'm yeah. sure they're itching to reboot that as quickly as possible but when I mean, you i don't but think maybe do consider this it, there's no third movie because it was such a good if, resolution to the trilogy there was no need to go but back like and rework said, it but because it said everything needed to just say. because there's no need it's hollywood doesn't mean they're not going to go back and rework it it's a good point um, that's but that's, here's my rebuttal that train jump is really cool so but it's the end of the movie you it know? leaps over it jumps the track also, can I just say, the end of Back to the Future 2, when he, you know, the rain has fallen and he pulls up in the car and you're like, oh my God, it's from the 1800s. What a fantastic cliffhanger that gets paid off in a really beautiful way that we get to go back and we get to see his life. We get to go about Doc. We get to see that he's fallen in love and he's got to make that choice. And I love seeing Biff as the old guy with the stash and like but it's Marty not McFly them. as the Scottish guy. It, but it's, it's not so that. much good. There's so much good in it. There's so much good in it. I really think I should... Um... Uh, leave my position in the cast of Spies and bring in Sean Persaud to play Tatiana because he would be great in this debate right now. And I... Your involvement have... in the show. Your involvement in the show is not contingent on how you do this <laughs> I have seen these movies, but like, do I remember these movies? <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I will say, for my point, Spider-Man 2... Um, is so good. Is so good. Thank you. And I do know that because I did watch it recently and I just saw Alfred Molina in a play and he was great. And so it's mm. like to have such a good number number two and then to fall off, you know, so 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 badly is like that's, that's something being not life. memorable too is pretty compelling. That's a compelling argument. I mean here's the thing it's good. not memorable. The entire premise of the entire Episode nine of Star Wars is based around a wayfinder, a uh, map. It is a fetch. It is a video a game. Fucking MacGu quest. MacGuffin. <laughs> it is the most MacGuffinist, yeah. MacGuffiest of the MacGuffins that ever MacGuffed. And mm. every time I think about it, I get actually so angry and so mad. I do so I agree with you that that trilogy, not that I am uh, a Star Wars um, expert because I'm certainly not. But that trilogy is just a gigantic mess, unfortunately. I mean, mm, you also have to think about the fact that Palpatine was hooking up with somebody. I don't Amy mean. Amy Gehrman just talked about this. Talking. Palpatine was making love. Can you imagine what a vile image that puts in your head? Mm. That was the image that J.J. Abrams oh, said, that's what we're running with. And their kids, know. what are they, his grandkids? It, there's no explanation. What it? What is it even? None of it makes any sense. I will confess that sense. I didn't know who Emperor Palpatine was for a very long time, even after having seen the movies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'd like to go back to Back to the Future in that, like, we're barely, like, harping on it because, like, there's not enough there to harp on because it's so disconnected from the rest of, like, the... I franchise. appreciate what they were trying to do because you're like it feels oh, like a spin-off like made for TV movie, not like a sure. third installment of a film cinematic sure. secret. But they're like Three it's a time travel concept. Trilogy. Let's go to a different a fun time. 
the, mm. the shot that did that. I appreciate the commitment to like the f- fulfilling the premise out to its ultimate conclusion. They were like, he went back to 1800. We already did the future thing. We're going to say like, is it the best film of the trilogy? No. But I like the fact that it says, let's just explore this idea to like its full potential. And we get to, we get Doc, Doc yeah. gets to have a happy ending. He gets to fall in love. I mean, that's so beautiful. Doc is kind of a side but, character in one and two, and then he gets a full story. How can you not love Doc? Real fact, with, with, back, with back to Mary Star Wars, I that like the, the, the Palpatine twist, you go, that, that for a lot of people, that was like, Satisfying though, compared to the uh, the previous movie when they're like, "Oh, she's a nobody." That was like satisfying to people. That like gave people something they wanted, they needed, even if it was weird. Imagine time again, have sex. Time. <sighs> wow, that's interesting and very special. To, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. I'm, well, I was I'm, just gonna... I'm putting <laughs> the poll. I'm putting. I'm sorry. I was trying to tweet uh, this, but I just started a poll in our YouTube chat. So we're going to see what the, let the votes come in um, and see where people are, what people are thinking. Um, but that was Kurt, a good debate. That I've was, never thought this before, debate. but Kurt, it's almost as if you love movies. <laughs> like you're giving me the impression that you like really dig movies. And that's just not that a I that I spend far much too much time debating these things with myself and friends. Hey, yes. <laughs> glad to give you an outlet. <laughs> Um, sorry, I'm tweeting. Real but quick. listen, nobody can talk movies like like Mary Kate with Lord of the Rings. So I mean, I yeah, the that's the thing. It's like we can't. Those are the best. Those are some of the best. Yeah, I don't know best. that. I would also nobody okay. can talk movies like Mary Kate with this one particular set of <laughs> movies is like a true <laughs> statement. But I appreciate the. I would also argue that uh, Rise of Skywalker. Uh, is the ninth installment of a series and not a, the third. Oh. I mean, I think it's sort of a, a trilogy inception because the entire trilogy is the third trilogy. Wow. And then it's the third movie See, within that the thing. trilogy. If you, had, trilogy it, if you had you, said episodes you, like uh, seven, eight, nine as the third install, trilogy installment in a trilogy, I, I could get behind that. The math works out there. We're done with Star Wars. <laughs> We're done with it. It's the age of Dune. <laughs> it's Dune time. Which, by the way, I have tickets to a week from tonight. I can't man, wait. I get to oh, see it a week man. early. Let's oh, go. Man. Why did they just call it Spice World? Pilot, oh, Mary Kate, I think you'd love it, actually. I know. We got to watch it. Pretty good, Corey. Wait. I feel like. <laughs> oh, God, was it? But thank you. So boring. Oh my so god! Boring. It's so the opposite of boring. I am also so like not ever wanting to see Timothy Chalamet's weird little lizard face. I'm just like pass. <laughs> like get her off my screen. Like this no, could have been the debate. Like, I'm not. I'm not here. For Timothy me. Chalamet, hot or like, not? Debate. How is this pretentious little like twig man like this famous? It's just he is you great. know like it's he a personal taste great. thing clearly, but it's not for me. He is great in these in these movies. Are you talking? You must be to referring Wonka, to Wonka. Strike Willy that. Reverse yeah. it. He's fucking Wonka. Bad Wonka. Uh, tell me he's good. I, I don't want to watch him in anything. It does not matter. I've okay. never watched him and gone, okay, but I liked him in this. Well, I'm just always like, this guy's here again. Mm-hmm. Well, Even, we have you didn't the- like him fucking a peach. Sorry, uh, continue. Oh. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Guys, the year that we did the Oscars had "Call Me by Your Name." We we did an Oscar party, and I served "Call Me by Your Name" peach tea with a little side of uh, sweet cream. Crumb. Just just so you know. Just yeah, so you're you know. gonna do something, girls. I, yeah. re- I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm yes, ending. Yeah. I'm ending the poll, and from the from the the viewers at home. Rise of the Skywalker has won with 65% of the vote. Number two was Spider-Man 3 and then with 17% of the vote. And number three was Back to the Future with 16% of the vote. Speech. Um, Winner speech. 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 Oh, uh, my uh, Andor is great. That's my speech. Yeah, Andor yeah, made me go, okay, I like Star Wars again. So if yeah. we got Andor out of this whole thing and Diego Luna's beautiful, wonderful face, I'll I'll take any amount of, of bad movies to make another season Whoa. of that good. I think the thing about, you know, I'm just going to offer my two cents here. You know, Spider-Man 3, I think, as silly and nuts as it is, is also so Sam Raimi. You go, it's like so weird, and Sam Raimi is like such a weirdo. 
who does weird things and you're like he he found this to be funny that being said he like didn't want to do venom which is why like that it ended up biffing the end of the movie but it's like in rise of the skywalker like the fact that jj abrams like retconned everything that ryan johnson All, did is anything so interesting rude. anything like so rude. specifically interesting that he what a did. rude thing to do to, it's to like, create a movie that undoes the rest of the trilogy is truly really why i think it's the you worst. don't think like, that like was you don't think that was part of the prompt though like from the studio to re oh wait sure i'm sure it was oh i i think like, so i think they were like ooh, people didn't like last last jedi which yeah, i had yeah. a lot like, of I, issues like i wouldn't jedi. pin that on jj yeah, I, I don't know. It is baffling to me that they Maybe acquired the crown jewel of all IP and then they went, What if we don't talk to each other about it? Yeah. What if everybody just kind of, it's like, no what? idea. What if, what <laughs> if, happening? here's the thing. Can what I, can I defend no Corey and Mary am. Kate's choice for a second? Can you what? Can I defend Corey and Mary Kate's choices for a second? Oh, even though now you want to do it. <laughs> um, Mary Kate, I cannot remember anything about Spider Man 3. Oh Absolutely God, guys, nothing. It's great. It's great. I can't either. I and just then Sean back to the future. Hilarious. Corey, whenever we watch it, I never watch the third one. <laughs> I have never, never seen either the third of Back to the Future or Spider Man 3. Spider Man 3 is a mess because there's like multiple villains. Um, and so it's like confusing. And one is man made of sand. I'm going to make Joey so, goes... so mad right now. Mm. I saw. Yeah, but that's from the with comics. Toby Maguire, I saw Spider Man no. 1 and Spider Man 2. None of the Andrew Garfield movies, even though I think oh, he's good. a hunky dude. Uh, and then I've seen the first Tom Holland movie. I think I no. I Did you see the third one? Can I tell you my hot take? I think Tom Holland is is kind of Tom boring as Spider Man. I'm gonna be real. He's just like, oh, I'm, I'm, a I'm a little boy. I'm a little boy. Give me okay. Andrew Garfield was so fun in those roles. I didn't love those That's movies, true. but I just I mean, feel like they've made so many of them. Oh, I don't. We have move. to. I mean, you know that like contractually, on. Sony has to where they lose. Well, yeah. and, and the the only goes if, goes up, like, if the money goes up, we can continue. Away, you know? no, no, I'm going to be honest, which is like, I'm glad that people are passionate about the things they're passionate about, but I could not care less about this conversation. <laughs> so let's keep it going. <laughs> wow. We got wow. less than $300. Wow. We were go. given a prompt. <laughs> no, no, no. That's I true, that's true. But you get six people yeah. together I, in a debate. I, they're, we're not all going to be on the same page here, okay? Yeah, I will say. Watch Across the Spider-Verse. It's great. Okay. It is great. It's so good. I don't actually... I also don't actually care about uh, Back to the Future. Like, I don't feel that passionately about it. I'll watch it. Um, I think it's fine. It, I think I agree. The setting is sort of fun. And yeah, Mary's team. I do care about Star Wars. I'm angry. I'm so I don't, angry. So I don't care a little, <laughs> even a little bit. I'm like, all right. You know what we're gonna do now that we have a little bit of break? We have a little bit of a break, <laughs> real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some shout outs of people who have up pledges or became new backers um, since we started these stream. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, less than three hundred dollars away from the next reveal, so um, that's true. Open we'll, your hearts and wallets. Open your hearts, wallets, and your minds, because who knows what you, could, you might be able to find up in up in that noggin. All right. Um, first up, we have Halsey Root. Yeah. Thank you, Halsey Root, for joining. Love that name. Love. I I, I hope these roots go deep. You know, mm -hmm. I hope they grow deep. And um, that you're here with us uh, for as long as you so please. Um, Chloe increased their pledge. Thank you, Chloe. Shout out to Chloe. Ellie also increased their pledge. Ellie, a them. Thank you, Ellie. A we them. also have an increased pledge from Space Child Alice, who, thank you, Alice. I hope that you're really excited for Intelligent Life, which is all about space children. Oh, and you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe who backed over this thing. But Kermit my frog himself. <gasps> Kermit. Kermit. Kermit my frog. Kermit my frog. Kermit my frog joined. Thank you, Kermit. Thank you for like sharing your mm -hmm. art mm -hmm. and, and, and your incredibly like special. Wait, wait. Oh no, never mind. What? I can't do math. No, you I were gonna do a Kermit the Frog up. impression. Do your Kermit. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're oh it, that was so good. That sounded just like Kermit. Oh. Very good. Very good. Very good. Um, wait, what were you gonna say? Oh no, I'm bad at math. Great. <laughs> Beautiful. Join the club. 
Um, Leo increased their pledge. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Manja increased their pledge. We love it. Thank you so much, Manja. Um, Claire joined. Shout out to Claire. Shout out to Claire. Um, love to have you here. And um, what? Uh, the, what? Wait, maybe I'm not bad at math. Oh, no. Uh, that... Huh? Yeah, we passed it 85. Happened. Oh, it happened. that's beautiful. Um, yes, Kurt, go take a quick bathroom uh, break. Lemon okay. Nargle says just get a quick 300 pledge for the bros. Oh, my Thank gosh. You. Thank you, Lemon Thank you. Nargle. We'll get, we'll get to you in one second, Lemon just Nargle. Just a quick 300? Um, Holly also increased their pledge. Thank you, Holly. Love you, love you. Leo just... dropped in again and increased. Leo, thank you. Leo understands branding. Leo understands being in the mix. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to go back to make sure we heard Amelia M pledge yes. just because in case that got talked over. Thank you, Amelia. Thank you, Amelia M. And thank you, Vivi Pico. Vivi, Vivi has been, you know, I, as most of you maybe know or maybe don't know, Vivi is a large pile of ash. Incredible artist. Thank you. And Vivi, Vivi also said in the chat, I'm voting for Mary Kate, no matter what the argument was. So uh, I just want you to know that sometimes the great debate can be biased. It's, Vivi's it's, my uh, favorite. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry about it. it. Um, Lana Brown, thank you for increasing your pledge. We'd love to have you here, Lana. Ricky Mortis. Um, you're, you're giving us the opposite yeah. of rigor mortis. You're making us want to dance with your generous pledge. Thank you so much. Um, SD also increased their pledge. Thank you, SD. Um, Andrew McManus increased their pledge. We love that, Andrew McManus. Um, I know you. that you're not the, the Andrew McMahon of uh, Dashboard Confessional, but we love what I want. But we don't um, know for sure. Loverly Light. We a very are, generous increase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Loverly. Liz also. Liz Ciron. We love Liz. Thank you so much, Liz. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Gabby Benyaksi. Yaksi? Gabby ben Benyaksi. Benyaksi. Either way, I love it. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. I'm, I'm, I feel horrible. Um, Lucy would if she could, and she could. She, she joined. So thank you, Lucy. Would if you could. Love it. And Natalia Nalepa also increased their pledge. Thank you, Natalia. Love you, love you, love you. Tish also increased their pledge. Ooh, thank you, Tish. Grace increased. Thank you, Grace. Deborah Shapiro increased. We love it. Thank you. Ed, AKA the dude, you're out there. You increased. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Xiao Chi Kui, Xiao Chi Ko? Xiao Chi Kuo. Xiao Chi Kuo. Thank you. Thank you for increasing your pledge. And thank you, Mary Kate, for um, helping me out there. With you. Anytime. <laughs> um, Gia, Gia increased. Thank you so much, Gia. Cowardly Crow, they increased. And we know they ain't cowardly. Jane Leach also increased. Thank you so much, Jane Leach. And thank you, Mary Kate, for being here. Uh, because Jane, we know, uh, we, we know Jane's you here because I'm here. Jane, I hope, I hope you also feel to enlighten, but thank you so much, um, Jane, for increasing your pledge. We super appreciate it. Um, Emma Taylor, thank you so much for increasing. Sarah Fuller increased. Thank you. Rachel Dykes increased. Thank you. Heather joined. We're happy to have you here, Heather. We love you. Uh, Lynn, thank you so much for increasing. Asha Bannon. Thank you, Asha. Thank you for increasing. Leo, again, with the SEO recognition, Leo knows that, you know, you get your name in there. You say it enough, and we're like, Leo, Leo Luke. Um, so thank you, Leo. We love you. Warren S. increased their pledge. Thank you. We love you. Um, Amy. Pledges from Amy. Yes. Pledge thank you, me. Amy. Erin yes. uh, Calendar. Ooh. Calendar. Pledged. Thank you so much, Erin. A them. Bless you, child. Bless uh, you. Bailey increased their pledge. Thank you, Bailey. Um, Big time. We really needed that one. Ellen Kendall increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Ellen. Um, a blessing on you and your house. Hey, it's AJ increased their pledge. Thank you, hey, it's AJ, which I hope is your full legal name. Uh, we also have an increased pledge from Anna Beal. Thank you, Anna, or Thank Anna. you, Anna. Uh, right. Emma G increased their pledge as well. You and G, you. Emma. Emma. Can we get an A them for Emma? A them. A them. Thank you. A them. <laughs> A them. A them. A them. A them. Neve Tilly. Thank you, Neve Tilly. You increased your pre your pledge. 
Um, your pledge. Thank you so much. What did I what did I say the other day? Pridges. Your pridges. Your pridges. <laughs> yeah. After a four hour stream, our brains started to melt. I was saying thank you for your pridges. Um, thank you, Neve. Thank you so much. And thank you, Hero Griffin. We so appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this. And then here we go. Uh, Aaron Manguno. Thank you, Aaron, for your lovely pledge and for joining and backing. So, so appreciate it. Thank you. And Con Bordal. Thank you, Con. What a name. Eleanor Atwood. Thank you so much for increasing your pledge. We love you so much. Autumn Johnson. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much for increasing. Abilie Long, also increased. Thank you, Abilie. Thank you so much for being here. Hudson Moody increased their pledge. We love it. We love to see people, you know, getting into the telethon spirit. Thank you. Um, Con? Cowan? Thank you, Cowan. We so appreciate it. Thank you for increasing your pledge. Beth Ann, thank you for increasing your pledge. We love that name. We hope see um, you in New York, hopefully New York. this fall. Yes, so you can see your character's namesake brought to life. And then thank you, Liliana, for increasing your pledge. Thank you so, so much. We love it. Oh, and there's, I need to refresh. Christina Joy, also increased. Thank you, Christina Joy. Thank you. Thank you, Courtney. We love you so much. Thank you for increasing. And thank you, Tabui. Tabui increased Tabui. the pledge. Thank you so much. And th yeah. this music under under these yeah, what is shout this? outs. <laughs> fucking fucking. <laughs> If this is like, yeah, I really felt, I felt like I was in a, like a loading screen of a PlayStation 1 game. It, it was cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it was just like, I was like about to play, like I was about to play Tony Hawk. And I was, hey, yeah. I, I was like, and it's like stuck character. on, it's, it's like, yeah, or you like walked away and it's just like stuck on the menu. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, yeah. it's like you got to build your skateboard it's, or something. Yeah, do I want yeah. Bob Burnquist or someone else? Um, thank you to everyone who pledged. Um, thank you we'll so much. A few more shout outs, obviously, yeah. over the course of the next hour, but we should maybe get to Baton soon. Wait, I'm going to be RB up, but I'll be so much faster than Kurt. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Well, we, actually have to, we do have to wait for you. So, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Um, I just want to say, like, obviously, we need, obviously, we literally need the financial help to make this thing happen. But a lot of you have been very active online on social media, on Tumblr, posting and like getting the word out and making art. And that is also hugely helpful. So while we do need to literally raise $200,000 to make our 10 year anniversary happen, we also uh, just need help getting the word out. So that is also valuable. So thank you so much. And please continue doing that. About reaching Lopez all the girl. people who love Solvit Squad, who love Spicer Forever. Like, it, it, this is probably not the opportunity to like uh, convert new people. I mean, unless they do. But like, it's more about like, hey, there are lots of people who have watched our stuff, who are loved our stuff. Like, where are they at? I'm like, let's try to find them because uh, the algorithm makes it hard and it's hidden them. Does anyone have any questions? Um, yeah. well, there, there was I some... have a question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> when are we finding out this new Spies cast member? Please. Oh, wow. oh I mean, yeah. We, You're right. We can do that. We um, should do that live. Yeah. Can I, one, yes, uh, yes. answer Raptor Face's question. Um, do you have an estimate on shipping fees? Yes. Uh, there, there's an estimate on shipping fees on the Kickstarter page. I know there's a lot of stuff on, on the page, but uh, it's very dense. But it is there towards the bottom. Um, and we have an estimate uh, on those, but like you won't get charged those till uh, closer to when everything ships. Yes, that's right. And in fact, your card will not be charged until the eventual date yeah. that we make our goal of 200K. So you can yeah. pledge now. And if maybe you don't get paid till the end of the month, um, that's okay. But obviously don't spend more than you have. We would never ask that. Um, mm -hmm. It's yeah. not about getting a few people to pledge a lot of money. It's getting a lot of people to pledge a little bit of money. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, so keep keep spreading the word. Uh, but yeah, like Brian says, uh, your card won't be charged until the very end of after campaign ends. And only if we reach the goal, if we don't reach the goal, um, your card won't get charged, and uh, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's yeah, go ahead happen. and make a really big pledge, because you know what? Maybe it won't even get charged. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> you might as well take the risk. Like, look Please at don't your, do that. Look no, at what your, the max on your credit card is. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Spiritually, we'll come back to you a thousandfold. So. That is true. That yeah. is the best that is, way to look at it. And that is a fact. 
That is the best way to look at it. Um, and that's what they would say when they took tithe at my church growing up. So, And thank you, Casey. Casey put um, just in the chat, just if you wanted to take a look, this is just what we have on the Kickstarter page. So thank you, T Casey, for a wonderful copy-paste job. Thank you so much. Um, a them. A them to Casey. Thank you so much. Now, as we are... As we before we start this next stream, or uh, not debate, we're, we're already streaming. Debate. We have an announcement to make. Right? We should announce who will also be joining the cast for Spy Another Day. Drum roll! Joining the cast in both group numbers and from sub is James Tober. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, and immediately said Tyler Bunch, which uh, <laughs> <laughs> not Tyler Bunch. You're, you're, no, James is going to be joining us. James is going to be uh, playing the roles of the informant. You know, in the in in the roles that the informant plays. Um, probably you gotta you gotta you gotta, which is not the informant, which is actually you're Susan, good. which James will also probably be be taking on some Susan roles as well. Um, but yes, James is just fantastic. Um, Can I just shout out James? I just saw James in Ain't Misbehaving. Oh, same. He was week. so good. He's incredible. Like, I mean, I know he's incredible, but what a feat. What yeah. a just, what an absolute. What a guy. Oh my God. What yeah. my God. Also, it's like he, he was, um, he was, uh, whatchamacallit. Like that, we were talking to him after and he was saying how there's like 30 numbers in that show. And he's like, yeah, I was actually in the least amount. And it was at 28. And I'm like, that's yeah. a wild amount of numbers. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, so, yeah. it's closed. Otherwise, I would recommend it to like anyone in the chat yes. and to Laguna Playhouse. But yes. yeah, James is a consummate performer. You might know him from This Could Be on Broadway. Uh, you might know him from playing the devil in Henry Danger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is also in Headless. He's also in Headless. Oh, he's also headless. in, he's, uh, I mean, yeah, James from, from Black Friday, Lore, all Black these things. Friday. James is wonderful. We are it's so freaking James. Too. Work with them. Also, what's we were, you know, when we were like making these plans and stuff, we were like, oh, it's great because James has a wonderful baritone bass voice. And so you go, having him drop in with that, you gotta have another, gotta have another. You're like, ooh, that's gonna be, that is gonna be spicy. And, you know, um, it's great. It's, it's the only like, sh shameful it's thing Allie's is said. it's freaking James. It is freaking it's, James. It's freaking James. Um, um, it's freaking James. James Chris, freaking choreographed a very Potter. Sequel. Sequel. James and, is it. And um Twisted, which I didn't even realize, but also I mm -hmm. wasn't a part of that show. Yeah. Um, and and he choreographed Black Friday and was in it. That's right. Yes. And he was the dance captain for Ain't Misbehaving. Yeah, I know. He he was amazing. So we're really and he's the first person you see in Headless. The first person. He is the yeah, first right? person. Am I right about that? I am right. And yeah. the last. Yeah. And the last. No, it's not. And at the end of episode, at the well, end of every episode. Anyone, when you stopped watching the show, you might have been the last. It's not. No. Um, like, wait a second. I almost incepted you to thinking. You're like, wait, is there a shot of James? Yeah, you guys um, have to do Henry Danger, a uh, Henry Danger reunion on stage. You'll James have to is in Danger Force, the well, spin-off. Oh, I'm so sorry. Cut my comment from Please the record. Get it correct. Um, yeah. We got a debate again soon, but just really quick before we do. Um, quite close to 86. I just want to highlight really quick. Uh, Kara said just moved up to level nine. So if you go to the Kickstarter page, bless you, you'll notice that there are tiers the same way. I don't know. A cult might have tiers. And, you know, if you're a level two or higher, you're going to get something called a believer band, which is like the color of your tier and it will interact with uh, your at home digital device to bring you like content about the shows this year and just about tin enlightenment in general. That's crazy. What is this witchcraft? Yeah. Yeah. If you kind of yeah. read the rewards, you'll see that we're creating an entire lifestyle here. <laughs> tin, tin um, yeah. The bit, yeah. It's like a, uh, like an old printed, like, uh, stretchy like band, like elastic band, not like a fabric band, not like a silicon like live strong bracelet. Remember those? Yeah. Um, oh yeah. What a weird trend. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's like a fabric stretchy thing, and then it has a little part that um, has uh, NFC chip in it. So you like tap your phone to it, or like you can. There'll be a QR code in the back you could scan um, that'll bring up these. Uh, depends what tier you're at. Like at level two, 
you will get these monthly um, to enlightenment enlightenment mantras so it's both like a a thing you can wear in your everyday life to like remind you like wwtcbd um and community with your fellow salmons for instance yeah um and come to shows and you'll be able to like see the uh different uh levels also based Mm. on the color um and then at like level three you also uh get to take uh a personality assessment um, the Lubichthal personality ass- assessment to determine your tin canogram type, your TCT. Um, and based on your TCT, you'll also get like quarterly prophecies. So like, we're really just about creating a lifestyle to like optimize your life um, and to harness tin enlightenment for your own. And you'll be able to look pleasure. at your band and, and compare how much holy and more tin lighten you are than all the other yeah. heathens there. Yeah. And I think that that feeling of uh, exclusivity uh, Exclusivity mm. and better than Eunice is worth mm. is Money worth is priceless. It's we're priceless. all str- you know, it's like and we're all struggling to 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 define a hierarchy in our world. So why not do it by colored bands? Sure. Yeah. And uh also like and if you are able to attend any of uh if we're funded and we do these like world tour events all over, um if you attend any of the events, you, there'll be something special you can do where you can like uh, tap your band and activate at the events as well in person, um, that's special. But of course, if you can't make it in person, um, all these projects are gonna have digital tickets as well. Some of them are gonna be on YouTube. So like, there's lots of ways uh, to enjoy these pro- projects. And there'll be like an uh, that at-home version of like, if you get a digital ticket, there'll be an at-home version of like, what you can do uh, activate at the show. Yeah, and some that's of them are going cool. to YouTube. Some of them are going to YouTube. Um, here's one I think all three of us, or all six of us, can answer at the same time. On the count of three, um, is Kennergy an offshoot of Tin Enlightenment? One, what? two, three. No. What the- yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh, is it? It's is so much more than that. Yes, it's that's subset. more. It's... What's Enlightenment? Tin Lightman is more. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything stems from Tin Lightman. You go. Tenergy is just capturing just like a corner of Tin Lightman. The same way that like you know karma, chi, like it's all just like capturing just a tiny slice. Mm-hmm. Science, just a tiny slice. It's like how in AA, it's just kind of like pray to God or like not, or it's just whatever you define as God. It's like that's you know. Tin Lightman is everything. Tin Lightman is nothing. Mm. On that mm. note, should we do another debate? Let's do yeah, it. Bet. Mm. Yeah, bet. Yeah, bet. Bet. Bet it. Why did I get this thumbs up? Bet Here's up it. For... This? How do I get it? How do I get it? Should we do we um go. should we do, do the accent? let's do the yeah, let's do the let's do the accent. But it's I will it. I'll uh um okay. Because I'm 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 debating this one. Yeah, okay. I didn't know you were debating me when you asked me to yeah. send a clip today. Yeah, so yeah, you've yeah. had a little preview, and I have no idea what you're debating. And that's, well, that's okay. um, one way to look at that would be cheating. Just that's true. That's true. Absolutely. Just let, I'm just letting the audience at home know that Joey may be a cheater if that affects you. Yeah, you know, just uh, wearing multiple hats. Cheating is um, not against the rules, though. What is. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what no. is this? <laughs> no. Wait. There we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay, everyone. Um, uh, wait. Are we gonna play the clips first or what? Hold. Uh, I think we, we could do them one at a time. Yeah, we'll do yeah. them one at a time. Okay, wait. And let wait. me. I need to find where we put them. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So, just to to clue you all in, the category. The, yeah. Yes, the category that the three of us will be debating is what is the worst on screen accent. No, that's not the category you sent me. To be clear, you sent most <sighs> unbelievable. Most unbelievable. Sure, 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 sure. Which sure. Is Wait, different. that's not what you sent me. Okay. You were on the group text. No, I wasn't. Wait. <sighs> most unbelievable. But it's like unbelievable. Worst. It's like it's the same. You know, it's I just, the same. They're similar. Okay. 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 Well, this let's, is let, This is. Starts getting into semantics of un- if we go. So oh, okay. so we go we go the actual so it doesn't we matter. matter. The outcome is who's no. going. Okay. Well, I think that means Joey has to go first. That's why. Um, as punishment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll see his clip. Um, or are you going to show the clip and then? Yeah, I'll show okay. the clip. Hold on. And we can. Okay. This clip is long, so we can just trim it. This is my clip. There we go. You ready? This accent pretty fucking bad. 
And if you saw this movie, you, uh, all right. All right, uh, I actually have the power to hide that. Uh, that is insane. Uh, I've never S seen it. Oh my Same. God. SK, well, there you go. SK Gray said, Bestie, what is this? What this is, is Bob Lerman's Elvis. So this is, what you just witnessed was Tom Hanks um, playing Colonel Tom Parker, who is Elvis's manager, who for some reason in this movie is kind of the frame story of this movie. He's supposed to be a Danish con artist. And in the movie, they allude to this idea that like Elvis can't travel to different places because Colonel Parker was trying to stop him because he was like a wanted felon around the world or something and couldn't do things that... And it's, it's all nonsense. It's all bogus because if you listen to interviews with Colonel Parker in real life, he doesn't have this wild accent that Tom Hanks does. It's baffling, this choice, especially considering that uh, Austin Butler spent years trying to craft his accent and the fact that the other co-star of this movie seemingly just did it, you know, for shits and giggles. It's crazy. Just to clarify real quick, that Tom Hanks plays two characters or that's... No, he plays one. That's the colonel. That's like the manager of Elvis. The manager of Elvis, Colonel Tom Parker. He's wearing that wild set and of makeup. German or Southern? And he's Danish. Okay. But he's like a con artist. But it's like it's bad. It's it's just bad. It's wild. It's absolutely wild. Thank so, you. Anyway, yeah, that's mine. I've seen it. Now. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Next up. Oh, it's mine? Mm -hmm. Well, then I'd like to say both accents, very unbelievable, but let's focus on Alan Rickman. Mm. Got it. So fill me in. That remark could be misconstrued as sexual harassment, Agent Hawkins. Let's get it out of the way, then. You've never worked under a female superior before. I got to where I am by pushing paper and playing nice. I never let you fire a gun before. I'm only in this job to prove to my father I'm not a coward. I give decent hands. I got promoted before all the worthy candidates, all of the men, all of them equally gifted at Palacio, but there was a gender quota to fill. I'm also stupid and idealistic. You are hard and cynical and usually right. I'm secretly in love with you, but I have a hard time showing it. Did I skip anything? You're a better driver than me, and I'm too proud to admit it. You're right. So you keep me updated on everything, and you have my permission to assist us as much as you like. It's very thoughtful of you. Anything turn up with the rent-a-cop? I'm on my way to the hospital right now. Uh -huh. How about the woman upstairs? <laughs> her name's Mary Ellen Floyd. She used to play tennis with the senator's wife. I have an appointment with her in an hour. You come to the senator's? You invite me? You bet. Like me on top? Half the time. Want to have sex later? Sure, I'll check with my ex-wife. Check with my ex-husband. It was too bad about Joyce Lakeland. If only she hadn't loved it, when I beat her, the whole trouble wouldn't have started. Well, Ma, you really know you're Jim Thompson. That's pretty impressive for a detective. I'm filled with <laughs> contradictions, Agent Hawkins. You'll see. Just, just gibberish. Just, uh, well, so, oh, sorry, I'll wait for my time to start. Okay, so um, what movie is this? I'm sure you're all asking, because none of us have seen it, myself included. It's called Judas Kiss. I found it by doing a lot of Googling. <laughs> and where I, I, you know, I saw a lot of bad accents looking around. I saw a lot of really bad accents. Um, but I really honed in on most unbelievable because um, reading about this film, Alan Rickman is supposed to be from no New Orleans or Nolens, um, Louisiana. Okay. Um, it's a casting mistake to start. But Alan Rickman does a better American accent as Hans Gruber in Die Hard when he's trying to trick Bruce Willis by being like, oh, no, I'm also a, a captive here. Like, that's a better American accent than this. Whatever this is, is um, like iconically just abysmal and um, almost ruins Alan Rickman. <laughs> but it doesn't. Thank you. Do you think the director of Love actually saw this film and said, I got to get them back together again? Uh, this was 1988. Was so this was this film, And oh, the yeah. director is Venezuelan, which is why I assume he couldn't tell that nobody sounded right. Wow, they were supposed to be New Orleans. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Yes. All right. I don't, finally... I don't know about Emma. Anyway. 
This is a classic. This is a classic. You know it. You love it. Roll the clip. The whole clip, please. And nothing but the clip. <laughs> Great opportunity for you, Harker. But you'll have to leave uh, Transylvania immediately. Opportunities such as this come but once in a lifetime. Yes, of course, sir. If I may inquire, what in fact happened to Mr. Renfield in Transylvania? Yeah, she was in great pain. Then we cut off her head and drove us. This is a montage heart, of a couple and small and she found peace. Doctor! Please. <laughs> Doctor, you must understand. I doubted everything. Even my mind. I was impotent with fear. I know. But, sir, I know where the bastard sleeps. I brought him there. To Carfax Abbey. No! No! Wait! No! Let them go! Let them go! Our work is finished here. Hers has just begun. I've seen many strange things already. Bloody wolves chasing me through some blue inferno. Uh, yeah, so this is Keanu Reeves and Bram Stoker, Stoker's Stoker's a Bram Stoker's Dracula, um, which also stars Gary Oldman, I believe, which is a fantastic. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola directed it, I think. It's like a fantastically uh, campy movie. Um, it's one of the worst accents I've ever heard. I think it rivals um, um, what's his name in Mary Poppins. Um, Dick Van Dyke, who is, you know, often famously, people say that is the worst British accent ever to be done on film. But I think this is it. His broiness just seeps through um, every sentence. It's as if he spent one day with a dialect coach and kind of just got the basics of where where your mouth is supposed to be, and then just kind of winged it. Um, yeah, to be honest, I didn't really prepare any words because I thought the clips spoke for themselves. And uh, now I, I regret that. But I stand by that this is the least believable English accent I've ever heard. Thank you. Mm. 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 Yeah, exactly. That was supposed to be British. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's hang on Raptor Faces comment. I feel like that's an important one for everyone to see as well. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we'll just throw it up real quick, and then we'll just bring it down. Uh, and then we'll, thank yeah. you. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. So we are okay. Let's 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 be real here. Um, these accents, these the the southern dialect, the English dialect. Um, it, both of these actors, you know, coming from different sides of the pond, are offensive, or uh, or they are they're not good. Um, they're not quite accurate. Um, but I think the fact remains that when coupled with the makeup and the kind of like historical, also crazy inaccuracies of Colonel Tom Parker, I it's like you it really is a big what the fuck were we thinking there? It's it's too big of a swing. I it think, sounds yeah. like a specific I... choice to me, though, versus like the Southern mm -hmm. and the English is the most like basic version of like, that's not New Orleans. That is just basic Southern. It's like, this is nowhere in England. This is like a parody of what an English person might sound like a little bit. You know, all three of these, even though some of them have international directors, are American films primarily made for an American audience. And that's why I feel like it is the most egregious thing to have British national treasure Alan Rickman butcher a New Orleans accent for an American audience because you know what? A bunch of Americans don't know that the Colonel Parker accent, is that anything his name? Is, is They don't know where that's from. That could be a country. They've never left this country. They don't know what people sound like in Europe. It's a whole confusing mess to them. They don't know what British people sound like, but we have enough American actors who to do American accents. and. If, an, if we're going to bring a Brit over, they better nail it. I and, think um, there are a lot of Brits that will do an accent, an American accent, where there's like just a few sounds that might kind of go like, ah, you missed it on that one. And Alan Rickman is wrong in every single syllable. 
Yes, but isn't just the idea of Americans doing British accents kind of poorly and, uh, and British actors doing American accents kind of poorly, isn't that kind of a staple of just the film industry in general? Isn't that something we as audiences have gotten used to and almost endeared to? Whereas like no. Tom Hanks no. pulling this out of his out of his ass, frankly, is 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 so remarkably like offensive. Like it's it's offensive to like um to Danish people, you know, I, think I don't know. I, it's a big swing. I mean, it's a big swing, but is it a bad Danish you know, accent? I don't know. Like, I it believe feels it. It's like such a strong choice. The way that like the Anna Delvey accent in that um, miniseries was like a mm. choice. Like that doesn't really sound like Anna Delvey, but like we all enjoy doing the, like making fun of it. You know, it's enjoyable to make fun of. I wouldn't even begin to be able to wrap my mouth around the sounds that mm. Alan Rickman makes. I will say Alan Rickman also just as a performer is kind of an enigma. Like, you know, that, that booming Alan Rickman voice. So the fact that you got any accent on it at all, even if it's just like a generic Southern accent that kind of falls away halfway He's through the scene, I don't Southern mind accent. it. I personally don't mind it because I'm there to watch Alan Rickman and I don't find it as offensive. As, you know, and the, you know? the thing about Keanu Reeves is like, I don't think the British accent is the thing that is the most offensive about that performance. That is a 90s Keanu Reeves fully existing in the 1990s That's with fair. weird with a, with a yeah. costume on. Like mm. like it's the acting is extremely bad. It's like so yeah. it's hard to separate the accent and the acting. Both are bad. Alan Rickman's acting great. Tom mm. Hanks is acting also great. It's but a the accent and he's making a choice, and Alan Rickman is trying his damnedest and failing. He's but I almost believe failing. him. I almost believe him, and I almost believe uh, Tom <laughs> Hanks because they're both solid actors. Whereas Keanu, like I, I don't believe anything but about the performance. The like, I don't think that's a negative. But is it about, about the, the acting? About I, I'm the saying they're film. tied hand in hand. I'm saying like that should not take away from the accent. The fact that his performance is is quite poor, quite poor. <laughs> I think when you have, I think, I think a good, you know, and again, I don't think I'm not a big believer in things like the Razzies. I think it's kind of a load of shit, but I do think when you look at a movie like Elvis and you go, there are two main performances in that movie. One was nominated for best actor and one was nominated for worst actor at the Razzies. You kind of go, that really? gap is yes. That That's gap fun. has created something really strong and powerful in that decision. And again, I don't know if either of you have seen that movie, but especially when, you know, you watch him going like, oh, is this Christmas? And it's like, what is he talking about? I don't about? think he sounds like that. I don't truth. think he sounds like that. Well, I think I'm distracted by how insane a Baz Luhrmann movie is that I just know. Yeah. I suppose I have nothing to look at or listen to. Well. But a contemporary. Well, you know what we're <laughs> going to do? We're going to put it in the chat and we're going to start a poll <laughs> in the chat. Um, um, it is now in the chat, y'all. So get to voting, and we will um, touch base in a was, bit. I also have like there's like others that I like really almost picked. And, I know this, um, is, this is hard. It, it was fun. Though. I specifically decided that I wanted to do Brits doing bad American accents, though, because um, that was quite a. They're clip taking because effort. they're taking our jobs. It's particularly offensive <laughs> yeah, because they are bo both such great actors. Yeah, yeah. that is so. <laughs> It's true. Uh, like, what do we expect from Keanu? Especially in the 90s. You know, he was a baby. Oh, oh Dracula. I, like, I, this is a hot take, but I genuinely thought Elvis was a disaster. I just, I did not the like Elvis. Movie, I actually didn't watch I just the was like, like, we were watching the screener and I just went to bed. And like, I, Brendan told me how it ended in the I movie. think Austin Bell is good. Like, I like, I, I like his performance in it, but that movie is just, it's a trailer. The whole movie is a trailer. Yeah. I like yeah. Bob Foreman stuff. That it's like his stuff is very like I enjoyed that movie more than I thought I was going to, but it is also the kind of movie that I ha have not thought about really ever again. I'm like, okay. Plus, and it's funny in general, I enjoy, but it's like even like Moulin Rouge, you watch that again and you go, this movie's like long. I like Moulin Rouge. This movie is really Ooh, thank long. Thank you. Thank you, Vas Vasan. Thank you. But can I also thank say you. Just the, the I know, like, listen, Americans are not great at British accents either, but there are yeah, so no, many, I mean, like, 
prolific British actors who are just like, yeah, they just like get cast as Americans all the time. And I want to like the time. hold them to the same standard. Thank you. Looking at you, Benedict Cumberbatch, atrocious American accent. Atrocious. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Dr. I'm Dr. Will... Strange. How well, are I, like, you? <laughs> Americans will be like, oh, so impressed that like a Brit did an American accent as if like that's more difficult than doing any other accent and yeah, um so up. even when they're like not very good at it they're like oh but it's it's so it's so impressive and i'm like is it brian give your british accent okay we all have to say the same sentence which is what what which is the 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 quick brown fox what is it what is that song <laughs> not a song the quick brown fox jumped, fox over, jumped the over the lazy dog, dog. okay yeah. can, you, can you put <laughs> it in the chat yeah, yeah. we'll put it in the chat the private are you talking about <laughs> Here we go. Um, mm. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Mm. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. <clears throat> the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Mary Kay? No, I didn't sign up. <laughs> no! <laughs> Everyone. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Everyone's there chosen a different Thank class in a different, period, uh, in a different period of history. Corey. Okay. I'm great. Sorry, that was that was for Allie. Um uh the quick brown box jumped over the lazy dog. Wow. Okay. okay. Good okay. job, everyone. <laughs> Who is this for Eli? Well, Who is this is this for? Four out of ten. And now the quick brown for? fox jumped over the lazy dog. Very good. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, also, Nick, yeah, I have... who the hell is this for? Oh, God. Oh, Christ. Who is this for? Be honest. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that was fun. Okay, so shall we... Um, let's look to the poll. I haven't looked at the poll. Ooh, it is pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to end it now. Let's see. Let's go to... Where, where is it? Okay, with... 30 with 30 percent of the votes in third place is tom hanks doing a danish accent oh, okay wow with 32 percent of the vote in second place is alan rickman doing southern which means in first place with 37 percent is keanu reeves doing english wow. how very close congrats brian um, congrats. did you did you uh, uh did anyone uh, I don't know, maybe and not everyone else was Googling to, to get an answer to this. I just couldn't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, did anyone see, because uh, I had never seen the movie, but did anyone see the clip of Kevin Costner doing a British accent in Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? I did. Oh. It's bad. Because it is straight up just like he's not even doing it. He's not even trying. Like It's like every like fifth word he like a little bit does it it's just like straight up american and the clip that i saw was him like having a fight with christian bale and they're both just like fully american but occasionally like drop an r it's atrocious it's so funny um oh my god i just want to say that why with my win we just had a huge upped pledge huge from, um Whoa. So thank you very much. Ooh, um, we're really so close to that. that 90. We are spitting distance from ninety, which is super exciting. Um, Can I just say, um, I have a student in my one of my classes. Can I get like down nine. from here? So <laughs> sorry. Well, Brian, you, have to, you have to make your speech. Oh, okay, sorry. thank you so much. Um, all the haters said that I couldn't. It couldn't be done. But you know, Keanu Reeves, while a great guy, is real bad at accents. So there you have it. Yeah. See ya. Good job, Brian. Good job. Good job. Wow. I kind of appreciate it when a great actor does a bad accent because it just makes me feel a little less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we just watched, then. Sean and I have been watching 30 Rock, as I've mentioned before, and I got to experience Julianne Moore, which was really interesting. And, um, I you know, it just makes me feel year. better. It's just like, oh. Like, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's the longest fucking cash register. We just do seen. it for twenty more minutes. Um. Wow, that is very, very exciting. Okay, now we have to. This be... is my dream to be at ninety thousand on this stream. <laughs> truly, dream. so close to fifty percent. Here's the thing. 
Y'all, we, because it has been going slow, we do not have the graphic prepared for this yet. And we were like, we're, who knows? So we this exceeded our expectations to a point where we were like, oh God, we don't have uh, a graphic to uh, put up for who this guest will be. So this will be an off air uh, announcement. We'll do this on social media at the end of this. We'll, we'll just type it in the chat and everyone will react. Yes, yes, you yes. Won't, yes. I won't even tell everybody? Come on. You got um, it. But also, let's just marinate on the fact that 90069 is a holy number. It so. is a holy number. Yeah. Okay, I just put it in the chat. <laughs> oh. Mm. Yeah. It's How exciting. I mean, I'm... We Corey and I were discussing this a bit yesterday. We were discussing like the live show, and it got me super excited to oh, be yeah. doing this it's live. Really Someone said in the chat earlier, like you can't do it live because then it may come to blows. And you know that's what the live great debate is all about. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Taking it out to the parking lot. Yeah. Wait, what is this next announcement? It's our first yeah. guest for our great debate, our first okay. great debate first. live show. So we plan that's on doing a I, couple of them this year. That's what I thought, but I wasn't. I got confused. And like With each special guest each and show will have like um we're still circling the number, but probably like six like six guests. Yeah. I mean six guests. Yes. this this person is gonna be so fun for that. Yeah, it's a good it it's yeah. we're we're trying these like yeah, we said right now we have four, three guests, you know, even with um if Gabe was supposed to be here, that would have been four, and we we're like these shows are gonna be uh a big a bigger mm -hmm. uh Lift. And there, uh, who yeah, did. and there's gonna be fun. We like the classic to like debate format because like there will be a winner of the night as well. Mm -hmm. Um, so there'll be the classic debate format, but then there's also gonna be some uh some other kind of fun, more like mini game challenges. Yes. What do they? What do they win? Well, Glory? street cred. Glory. Well, I mean, we were talking about it yesterday, Brian and I. Um, yeah. But uh, there might be a trophy. There might also be another prize. There might be, you know, like some nice, there might be like a silly thing and then like a nice. Is thing. it a smooch? Is it a kiss? It might be um, like a nice gift certificate. <laughs> and then it might, to Cracker Barrel. And then it might be, you know, like a trophy yeah. of Kurt. I don't know. Like, I'm yeah. just saying. Like, We're like, just like okay. a trophy and also maybe like a, I don't know, like a TMZ Hollywood uh, Hills like van tour. Yeah. Um, Somebody said a little Diane kiss. I think that sounds like a great yeah, yeah. which is a lick, That's which a good, yeah. and it smells like shit. Um, <laughs> and we appreciate your guesses in the chat, and yes. also just hearing about who you would like us to have on this show. Yeah. Hopefully, but aside from Timothy of, Chalamet, we want to have a few other people on as well. But in terms of hints, that's for Ashley, though. In terms, yeah, of, yeah, I'm not going to that show. In terms <laughs> of a hint in which we could direct, uh, I don't, I don't know. Should we? I Is don't know like, if we should drop a hint out there. Human. I, let me see. I mean, it's human. A human yes. Or let me see. Let me. Let me. I'm. I'm writing in Slack. Dancer. I human think. or dancer. Human or dancer. I was talking, or I was chatting in Twitter. I don't remember if it was as myself or as TCB, but I was asking people um, who they thought our spies announcement might be. Uh, today and some of them are really funny. Like one of them was just like Jim Carrey, and I was like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, we got yes, Jim exactly. Carrey. Jim, we got Carrey. Jim Carrey to be in a Spies of Forever concert in L.A." That's funny. Okay. Um, question: Are the the debate shows going to be here in Los Angeles? Um. Yes. Some of them. Yes. Oh. I mean, this first the, the this first, first one, one will be the first one we're we're going to be announcing hopefully soon. Uh, will be here in Los Angeles. One of yes. the goals of it, because obviously like a lot of these different projects are at different scales, you know, like one of the goals with the great debate is to have a project that it's like, if we want to go to Chicago for a weekend, if we want to go to New York for a weekend, mm -hmm. wherever, um, we can just kind of like go. It's like pretty lo-fi. We can work with like local talent, like local comedians mm -hmm. in these yeah. places. Yeah. Um, I mean, so yeah, maybe we should give them a hint. The, we'll, the we'll, we'll make a graphic. Oh, yeah. Is someone who plays games? Well, who there? We're gonna have someone play our live like comedy game show, and this is someone who you might who also plays games on the internet. Uh, yeah, so plays emotional games with loved ones. 
they have been a presence. They have a presence on the internet. They do. Yeah. <laughs> they do have a LinkedIn. Yes. They exist <laughs> in the 20th. They do. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say some of the names in the chat are not too far off, but that's it. Yes. Do okay. you? And it's ever, not Pac Man. Um, and it's not. Do you ever meet Pac-Man. someone who like has so little internet footprint? I go, you go, how, how are you real? As people who, especially as people who, yes. whether by choice or not, have very large internet footprints. Yes. No. I mean, like, like a friend, friends from college, or um, yeah, I don't talk to my friends from high school actually. Um, one of my best friends is on Instagram, but doesn't even check it daily. Like, sometimes I'll be like, "Oh, I did you didn't you see that thing I sent you on Instagram?" And she'll be like, "Oh, I haven't checked Instagram this week." I know people who this- are. And not on it. Yeah, no, I mean, like, she's that's like, the only ungoogleable. Yeah. They're like, I, I go, these, I'm very good at Google. And I go, I can't find you. Some of, sorry, some of these names are very on point, and some of them are just so off, off base. Wait, shall we do some more shout outs then before we get into our, yeah. uh, into our last stream? Because I'm realizing we're, yep, we're like, running out of time. We're running out of time. Um, and the last person we stopped at was Tabui. Um, but Hell yeah! Choose your skater! You can choose Team McIver! Thank you, Team McIver, for increasing your pledge! Or, if you want to choose Lana! Thank you, Lana! We love you! This is Tony Hawk's, if this is a Tony Hawk thing. Um, but I, I can't sustain it any longer. We um, have an increased pledge from Abby Benham Bannon. Thank you, woo! Abby! Double B, last name. Love you and thank you, Abby. Um, we also have a new pledge from Faith like the George Michael song. That is what they said. That is their name. And you we gotta love have it. faith, the faith, the faith, the. Who next, Brian? Rebecca increased their pledge. Thank oh, you, Rebecca. I we praise love you. you, Rebecca. We also have an increased pledge from Robin W. Robin, Ooh. thank you so much. Oh, and Kara Langworthy, thank you so much, Kara. You are Langworthy. Sophie Veld increased their pledge. Thank you so much, Sophie. A them to Sophie. A them to Sophie. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you were gonna. I didn't. Oh, know we got Leo. Okay, we got you Leo. You know Leo. Again. Leo, thank you so much. And then we've got Avalie Long. Thank you, Avalie. We love you. We love having you here. And Allison Stuller. Thank you, Allison. Thank you so much for upping your pledge. Um, Stuller. And Loverly Light. We thank love you, Loverly. We You're love lovely. her, Lee. And then Heather Hepburn. Heather H-H, Hepburn. H squared. Thank you, Heather. Jennifer Hughes increased their pledge. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so and much. We love you. Abby. Oh, uh, I, I just called Abby her. Again. Abby again. Abby Benham Benham. Deborah Shapiro increased their pledge. Thank you. A them to Deborah Shapiro. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, Katharina, for pledging. We are so happy you're here. We're so happy you're a part of the family. Thank you, Katharina. Hey, guess what? Chloe increased their pledge. That's oh. a big deal. Thank you, Chloe. Oh, and Esty also increased their pledge. Thank you, you Esty. Thank you Our very much. Bestie, very Esty. Bestie, Esty. Lynn also pledged. Thank you for joining, Lynn. We're happy to have you as part of the fam. Thank you. Huge increase from Avery. Uh, thank you so much, Avery. Really. Oh my gosh. You. <laughs> oh my gosh, Avery. Thank you so much. Oh wow, Avery. You're, you got some fun stuff coming your way. You got some fun stuff coming your way. Thank you, Avery. Some fun, um, weird stuff coming your way. Very weird stuff. Ed, aka the dude, slash, change their username, Big Chungus. We this love changes to see, everything. This changes absolutely everything that Ed be, is now a Big Chungus. Thank you, Ed. And thank you, Liz. Liz, back again. We love you, Liz. And Sam. Thank you, Sam. Sam Kennedy. So, so special to have you here. Thank you, thank you. And Avery, with another increase. Avery, wow. oh my gosh, Avery, you're unstoppable. Thank you keep, so much. Keep going, my computer my computer is crashing because okay. of how much fun it's having. Leo, <laughs> sign, sign Leo back you're again. back again. Leo, oh my gosh, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Bajati Mulhern, thank you, Bajati. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're so, 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 so grateful. And then Louis. Louis increased their pledge. We are so, so, so grateful, Louis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
um, and then there are a few more. Violet Cameron Webb. Ooh, Violet Cameron Webb, you increase your pledge, and I hope you are seeing that movie about the Madame this weekend. Marley also increased their pledge. Thank you, Marley. Thank you, thank you. Ren from Mars, thank you so much for being here um, on our Kickstarter and on this planet. Um, we are so happy. And then SK, thank you, SK. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are so, so grateful. And, and thank you to all of our backers. Hell yeah! 90,000 um, is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. Yes. So this is yeah. incredible. Thank you, thank you. That feels, that is very, very uh, comforting to see uh, the, 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 there be momentum, you know? When you go a couple days and it's, and you know, it's, it's it, it, there's not a lot, it, it's, it's, it's depressing. Um, so this has been very fun. We genuinely so, so, so appreciative. We're also over uh, 1,250 backers, which is awesome. We're at 1,257, which is so exciting. So, um, it's really, really great. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, you can say anything over this music and it sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. Like yeah. you can talk about, yeah, anything. All right. And remember y'all, when we get to one, when we get to 100, we are at 50%. And so we got it. We got another hundy to go. So, um, let's keep it going. Thank you so much. You are all amazing. Um, but let's do one more debate between betwixt our guests. Um, I also just froze, so I'll be right back. Oh, that's okay. It's what all the cool kids are doing. Cut the music. And remember, Raptor Raptor Thief may just seem like they're throwing out something they're saying, you know, that they just got their phone stolen, but that <laughs> is not true. What they're alluding to is that at 100K, um, something we are going to do and release is that uh, is a remake of our very first sketch, The Phone Thief. We're going to remake that maybe with new actors, maybe with the same actors. We'll see what is most appropriate for a remake. I um, haven't thought about that. But someone younger get, and hotter. Maybe we get the most yeah. A-list young and hot actors we possibly can. Yeah, maybe this is when we finally get to the old Harry. Hollywood treatment. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Can you yeah. imagine if it was just a the, the, a remake with with Tom Holland and Timote instead of me and Brian? You'd love that, wouldn't you? you Ashley would love wouldn't. that. If that Ashley, yeah, Ashley would be wouldn't. disappointed. Ashley wouldn't watch it. Um, and Dakota yeah, Johnson got... as the phone. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> as the phone but yeah we figured um that might be a fun it would be a fun thing to kind of like go back and and first of all look at our uh look at our uh you know sketch and see if it, it's any good and you know because a, re a, a remake of a sketch it's like are you gonna do a shot for shot remake like the psycho remake in the in the late 90s are you gonna do a reboot reboot where you adapt it in a different way and change some lines, a reboot. A reboot, a reboot. Re 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 yeah, are we gonna go back to J Joey and my old apartment where we shot that and <laughs> yeah, are we gonna break ask in to a, use permission apartment? or break in and then source the old furniture we had there 10 years ago? Are we gonna yeah. do that? Probably Or like not. pull a pull a Chris Pratt if and Camille and everyone is just ridiculously like ripped on steroids and it's just yeah. like- Oh yeah. Do Brian, and I, do Brian and I have to get- Wait unhealthily jacked in the next week in order to do hey, this. Hey, I'll do it for a roll. Then just be like, it's just chicken it and broccoli when, when everyone asks you how you yeah. did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. A super it's, healthy it's, way. And, and, and sleep and sleep in water. Yeah, sleep in water, chicken Hydration, broccoli. Yeah. And, just sleep in water. you got health. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the recipe. Sleep well. in water, chicken broccoli. That's it. Yeah, maybe we will, you know. Um, Ashley, welcome back. Thank you. And let's get debating. Let's get this final debate on the books. Okay, finally, we now have Ashley Clemens, Mary Kate Wilde, oh. and Kurt. <laughs> Ashley, Mary Kate, and Kurt Mega. Mary Kate, who who is like so ready to do it. <laughs> I don't know when why Mary we're around. You know I don't know what is happening with this. This is it's wild. like the shell game. Or... Yeah, exactly. It's like who who is is mo looking forward most to debating. Uh, <laughs> You've probably been like, get the tin can guys off the screen. Let's get our guests debating. I feel yeah. like I picked the same thing as Mary Kate, so I'm a little worried. So I, I bet you them. didn't. Oh, really? Okay. 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 And this okay. debate that they are debating is what is the most iconic line in all of cinema history? Contestants, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's begin with Kurt because <laughs> he's first. <laughs> Hey, this line comes from, you know, we talked about the uh, uh, 
worst threequel. This comes from the best, the best threequel mm. of all time. And that, of course, is Return of the King. And it is the classic line when Eowyn rips the helmet off, goes, I am no man. And every time it happens, we all scream and go, not, yeah! Not what and I thought I, you would yeah. choose, but I'm loving it. <laughs> It is. It's the best line. I was almost gonna pick. I was almost gonna pick the two. The two towers. The taking the hobbits to Isengard because of the cultural meme status. Mm. I'm going with my heart. Uh, Eowyn was one of my first loves. I did not. I Arwen. I don't. Didn't care for her. Eowyn loved Whoa. her, and that line. That line made me love her even more. So Eowyn, I am no man. And then she shoves a sword in his face, and he crumbles. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Mm. wow. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ashley, the floor is yours. Talk, please. So, um, that's a really great line. Like, that's a fun line. What a fun line from a movie. But iconic means that like everybody knows it. Everybody. You know, and and if you if you think about that, you know, a, a lot of people would start saying like the Godfather or something, right? Mm. But kids don't know the Godfather. You know, we're leaving out a lot of people. What is a line that if you have never seen the movie, movies, you know it, because also there've been a crap load of movies over many decades from the seventies to now. What you can't escape the Star Wars franchise. The line is may the force be with you. Mm. Uh. You can end my time. I have nothing more to say. It's so obvious. It's such an obvious winner that like, I don't know what we're mm. doing here. Um, but like, I'm excited to hear other people's like fun, cool lines that are like enjoyable to <laughs> quote, but like the line that is iconic <laughs> everybody knows everybody five-year-old children and 95 year old mm. grannies are like yeah i've heard that i've definitely heard that <laughs> wow that okay okay <laughs> okay again not right. the line i thought you would say from when you from the movie franchise okay okay <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everybody knows I really like debating. So yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for this uh, most iconic line, I chose a line from a movie that I have definitely seen that's been mentioned. Uh, it's The Godfather. And this line definitely goes like this. I think we can all agree that this is how the line goes. And the, of course, most iconic line is, you come to my wedding? <laughs> oh. And that's it. <laughs> uh, 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 that's Marlon Brando I, just teleported. Nice. just teleported to the stream. <laughs> that's how so, I know the line. That's the that's the line I know. So, one more time, give it to us again. <laughs> you come to my wedding. <laughs> 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 I yield oh, wow. my time. Wow. I, I do actually think that's... That's iconic. I did really think that's what the line was. <laughs> I don't think that's the line. It's not even like... It's, it, it just even this like... Wow. You know, make one off it. You can't refuse. Like, Let's, you know, yeah. <laughs> Like the most famous guy by their life. Judges. Oh my god. You know yes, what? Have... Like, oh that was weird and funny, and therefore humor takes it. I mean, my yes. mine is like obviously the correct answer, but <laughs> it was funny, so. I thought Kurt was gonna choose for Frodo, and I mm. thought when you said Star Wars, you were gonna say, Luke, I am your father. That's what I expected. So you both surprised me. Here's here's my one two punch, Mary Kate. You're amazing. That was not the right line. <laughs> Ashley, that May the Force Be With You has been bastardized by corporate America. Whoa. It has been co-opted into Which a means slogan. everyone knows it. No, it means it's it's lost any meaning. It doesn't even have it just it's just a it phrase that we slap on stuff to will, sell will shit. Be with you. It's a pretty I am no man. Explanatory. You need context for that. I am no man has heart. It it's it's about yeah, the no. journey that this character's it's on. Right it's about it's stepping about up in the iconic. face of evil. If it wasn't in Looney Tunes, sorry. Yeah. I think everybody can relate to the feeling of somebody showing up at their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not his wedding. It's not his <laughs> <laughs> Damn my daughter's wedding. 
<laughs> you have to you have to confront that person. <laughs> yeah, you come to my <laughs> wedding. Uh, yes, thank you. Heather says I'm right. Funny. I know I'm right, Heather. It's really not for debate. It's just so <laughs> funny. <laughs> you come to my wedding. <laughs> also, I gotta just say thank you. Thank you so much for giving us the perfect social media <laughs> clip out for this. Oh yeah, I immediately made a note of that. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I you don't so even, much. Like, what's the actual line? Because like come that's... to me on the day of my daughter. Okay. You come to my wedding. I confess you that I was trying. Wedding? I was trying to quote that to Sean one time, and I happened to be the Godfather, and that's what I said, and I was serious, and he laughed at me really hard. Have you? Yeah. Have you ever seen really the Godfather? Hard. Yeah. It's I one of those films it. that I've seen oh, it, God, and how did no one see Godfather three for the other one? Sorry. Oh, oh, that's a that's a good yeah, that's a good one. Really, really good one. Like I know Godfather is an important movie, but I don't ever want to watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's same. Like, it's like watch I've watched it. it academically to be like I've now seen the very famous movie. Um, Sinead got obsessed with it last year. She watched the it. I, yeah, she was like, "This movie's really great." <laughs> it is good. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola is like, you know, he's like winery. So I don't remember the whole story how he's connected to the Bay Area, but I know that there is like one shot either from the end of the first or the second Godfather that was like down the street from the house I grew up in. Oh. Um, and so, like, I had to then watch the movies to be like, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. I gotta, I gotta so, it's when like just conceded or I, I mean, so, I we have two more minutes. I agree with <laughs> Kurt. I agree with Kurt. Here's my pitch is like what line okay. ar arouses within you the most emotional, like it's strong reaction. Really, May the force be with you is it like okay, line, but it's not what does it even mean? Iconic. What does iconic when you, mean? If that when is you true. hear May the Force be with you, you're like cool. But when you hear Aowen say, I am no man, I mean you just want to get up and like, yeah! well, like the question is the question is if someone said I am no man. Would you know that's from and didn't know Lord of the Rings? Would it, it, that's the Wait, I thank think you, that's, thank that's you, Joey. Drop thank in you. Here. I think that, from the and drop in for the debate. Like, I'm not even saying that May the Force Be With You is the best line, or like, I mean, like, I, I look, my first thought when I was like, oh, I what do I most like to quote from a movie was, um, from Hook, uh, mm. the children, or the children, so good. That was the first line that Classic. came to my head. But do I think that's like the most iconic and that most people know it? No, everybody knows May the Force Be With You. It's just, yeah. it's, I think it's that it is like embedded iconic in culture. Everybody First knows May the Force Be With You is way. embedded in culture. Return of the King won Best Picture. Return of the King and the trilogy of, of Star Wars, or sorry, Star Wars, the trilogy of Star Wars, Star Wars is like. <laughs> well, yes, here's the thing Star Wars continues to live on because it's like being stretched out into eternity. The, the conclusion of Lord of the Rings trilogy <laughs> defined everything we think about fantasy filmmaking going forward. Nothing will ever be the same post like Lord of the Rings changed everything. And that moment, I would argue, is the most pivotal moment in the final film that won the Oscar that forever changed fantasy filmmaking. But it's it's the one of the most important moments in science cinema. fiction filmmaking. Like it's really and TV, frankly, because I because Star Wars it ripped is off a country. bunch of other cons. It's seven samurai in space. Lord of the Rings is something that we had never seen before on screen. Name a quote from Star Seven Wars. Samurai. Nope, nobody knows it. Wow. You come to my is wedding. Is that the Kurosawa? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you come to my wedding. Uh, <laughs> it's a good title line. Okay. Okay. So Let's take a look. We've had the chat going. We've had the poll. Let's see what is winning the poll. Okay, I am now going to end the poll. Poll. And, and let us know in the chat if you have other ones, other lines. Okay. I've seen a couple so, of good ones pop up that you think okay. are funny. Here we go. The poll is complete with 130 votes. With 25% of the vote. We have cursed I am no man. Wow. Okay. Now this could go either you're all, way. You're all sexist. With 26% of the vote. For, for not voting for the man. We have may the force be with you. Yay, MK. You deserve And with 48% of the votes, a win that would win you the presidency is the iconic line from The Godfather. <laughs> 
you come to my wedding, <laughs> ellipses, because it seems like there should be more. But it seems like there's a speech. 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 Wow. Thank you, everybody. This is, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Mm. It does, it means so much to me to share the love for my, one of my favorite movies that I've certainly mm. seen, The Godfather. Mm. And, the Godfather. Um, I know that this quote resonates with everybody, so I'm mm. really glad that we could connect on that. Come to my wedding? <laughs> Just I mean, it's now wedding. iconic. It Thanks is iconic. It's the most iconic thing to come out of this I think, live stream. I think the goal. I think a goal you should have is to try to burn stain bears this into <laughs> everyone. Mandela effect. Yeah, you got a Mandela oh, yeah. effect. This line yes. into being like, no, it's just you come to my wedding. Sean was like, um, this starts today. Like how he never says play it again, Sam and Casablanca. Yeah, he's that's now true. Now gonna remember, you come to I my mean, wedding. It's we were talking about it in the chat. It's not Luke, I am your father. Like, he doesn't say that. Nice. In that way. See, there he's you go. Like, he's like, no, I am your father. Whoa, there you go. Um, that was That's good. So all the but, people uh, in the chat saying that they were going to vote for me and they changed their ch Weak. Weak. <laughs> I should have known that. I can't believe that I sabotaged people out of voting for Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I know, that's insane. Wow. <laughs> for a movie you for Anything can happen. Definitely seen. I think it's a great line. I don't know if it's iconic. Like, it's no, no one said, like, I will be, I'll be back. I will be back. I wish, I, I thought that back. was going to be one as well. That's a great, thought, that's I'll a great one. But like, but like, does your like, you know, does your grandma know that line? Yeah, probably. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I, I quote. They're I, know, I am a man know. all the time, so maybe it's just iconic. Well, I don't know anything. Both my, my grandmas circle, have passed, and so yeah, same. They but won't I be don't back. think in their lifetimes they would have known it, but they would have known Manafort through it. They won't be back, neither of them. They won't be. No, I mean we don't know actually how it works. Kurt, I, I don't think you can separate iconic from the fact that capitalism has taken hold of a phrase. You know, I think that like helps make it yeah. more iconic I mean, in this world. It's why it's, it's why the businesses have latched on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come to my I wonder if some of those quotes come from things like Looney Tunes. Because, like, That's watching Looney Tunes as a kid was like how I don't know, like, at least the sort of like elder millennial generation learned like a lot of iconic, like, we saw parodies of things before we had any idea what they were parodying, you know? And it, yeah, was, it was Looney like, Tunes with this, or, uh, yeah, Looney Tunes animated. That's why I don't anime believe spoilers anime. can ruin well, a movie. Also the right age for anime. I don't believe spoilers so, can ruin a movie because most of the iconic movies that we ever, like, knew, I already knew the stuff before I went and saw it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Um, Sure, but, but like, it's interesting, like, it's a, it's an extra challenge to have to make a parody amusing without the audience having familiarity with the source material, like with mm. what you're parodying. Mm -hmm. mm. What about right. a spy is a spy is a spy is a spy? What about that line? Well, Kermit has That's touched it. So if Kermit, Kermit said it, if Kermit, Kermit frog did it today, is that it? Um, wow. What? Here what we go. It's good Kermit. Debate. Or how about time uh, time uh, time they taught me how to kill? They taught me how to kill. They taught me how to kill. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, wow, everyone. Thank you so much. This was a rockin' New Year's Eve. How yeah. exciting. Congratulations. Do we, do we have, Thank you. Uh, oh, you just got another, you, you just got another bump. Up Ooh. almost 9,600. I got a. What? Wow. Oh, you just jumped 90, up. 90,600. Like yeah. 90,700. Uh, we're going. There we go. So, um, should we do our final? Shout outs before we turn. Let's do it. Let's yes. do it. Okay. Thank you are... so much, everyone, for being here. Let's do this final shout out. And then thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna say these names and then everyone exclaim them in, in prayer. Just gospel them oh. for your own, you know. Okay. Oh, new song. We'll do that. New okay. Yeah, new song. <laughs> I was okay. gonna new say song. like new song, new song. New song, new song. Okay. <laughs> new song, new song. Um, maybe. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Emma Taylor. Do it like like that. Okay, cool. And then we have Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn. Perfect. And then again, Avali Long. Thank you, Avali. Avali. Oh. Hey, and then we have 
Cesarina. 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 Oh, thank you, thank you, Cesarina. Then we have Style Clue. They increased. Thank you, Style Clue. Style thank Clue. Style Clue. Oh. And then Jess Mack also increased. Thank you, Jess Mack. Jess Mack. I don't know what this oh. energy is. And then Lindsay know. Nicholson. Thank you for doing another <laughs> the fireworks. <laughs> to Lindsay Nicholson. Thank Lindsay. You Nicholson, hey, them. Nicholson, thank you. And then Kate, thank you, Kate, for pledging. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Kate. Someone, is there a doctor hey. in the chat? I choked on my own spit. Um, and then Kate. Philip Wright Bian and Philip Wright Bian and thank you, Philip Wright Bian. Thank you. Philip. Okay. And then Atlas Fitzhugh. Thank you, Atlas Fitzhugh. Atlas. Atlas. Um, and Aww. then, um, oh, this uh, reset in a weird way. Okay. Um, oh, and that was, that was it. That was, that was, that was it, I think, because it repeated a bunch. Let me see if it did. Oh, no. And then we're more after. And then Marley and Chris. Thank you, Marley. Marley and Chris. And, and thank you, Kara Langworthy. Kara. Kara. And then Kara. Judith. Judith increased their pledge. Thank you, Judith. Judith. And then Avery Giron once more increased their pledge. Thank you, Avery. Thank you, Avery. And then Ed, aka the dude, Trash Big Chungus. Thank you, Big Chungus. Chungus, mama, big. <laughs> and then, hey, it's AJ also just came in. Hey, it's AJ. AJ. And if any of you have been to a Catholic church, that is exactly what it sounds like. Hello, um, AJ. That, that is what... That is what a Catholic mass sounds like. Um, it's, it's, it's nuts. Anywho... Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Everyone. Uh, uh, um, everyone, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh making this a big, fun, successful stream. This felt great, and it was really fun to be with all of you debating whether you like debating or you don't like debating. It's it's good to know that it's a little bit of fun for everyone. Um, I laughed harder than I have in quite a while. That was uh, see Mary Kate's game by by pretending Mary Kate doesn't care about debating. She snuck in the win. So I, I, I see what you did there. It was really? And imagine forty that. And imagine us doing this all in the same place. Uh, oh we God. love to be in a place and singing at the imagine same time. Yes. <laughs> um, and obviously, just more. Sorry, that stuck in there. Carrie Bowman, Avalie yes, increasing. Bowman. <laughs> As Bauman. Thank you so much. Um, this was beautiful. Uh yeah, this was this was an awesome, awesome stream. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all out there, all 1,261 of you. Um, we got this. Let's keep, let's keep cruising and, and, and grooving. And, um, yes, love you all. Thank you. To this our guests, we hope to be able to make stuff with you this year. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we are nearly at 50% funded. We are, we are just nine grand away from 50% funded. And then, and then the real work begins. And you guys um, made nine grand in this two hours. So yeah, we just got to do this every day for the next 70 days um, <laughs> 120 days no uh no for real though thank you so much everyone um this was lovely and uh yeah we love you all uh, shall we do a one word prayer just a yeah. real quick one okay let's do it in this starting with mary kate and we'll go clockwise dear lord <laughs> thank you for the gifts of money and all the precious memories 
that <laughs> we will cherish all henceforth. Wow. Well, TCB with you. With all of you. <laughs> and also with you. Um, also with you. Thank you all. This is wonderful. And with um, your wallet. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Um, thank you. We'll see you on Sunday. Later. Bye bye. So trust us, we're not fishing for the dough to fund our vision. The provisions we envision have long been preordained. Just as we first saw it, you reached into your wallet and you gave. Your cash will help us manifest the grandstand result. Legally, we have to say that this is not a cult. Totally not a cult. And soon the whole wide world will be delighted. To Great job, guys.